All right, so earlier in this course, you've seen how to deploy spiders to the scraping app cloud, right? However, what if you have your own server and you want to host your spiders in it? Or maybe you want to take your entire project and deploy it to Heroku for free. But before all of this, I simply need to require an instant and explain to you why I've decided to add this section or what are the reasons why I sometimes don't prefer to use the scraping app cloud. So first thing first, the Scraping Hub Cloud has this feature called Periodic Jobs, which allows us to run spiders on a particular month, date and hour that we choose. This feature was free in the past, however, now you can't get it unless you pay for it. So this is the reason number one. Reason number two is what if you were using Scrapey Splash along with your project? Well, in this case, you have to pay too. And as you see, they have plans that goes up to $100 per month in order for you to be able to use Splash with your project. Therefore, I thought why not show my students how they can get the same thing without paying any penny. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the Scraping Cup Cloud is not good or not efficient, but like I said, I just want to show you how to get the same thing for free. All right, so first we have to install a package called ScrapyD, which stands for Scrapy Daemon. And basically it's a service that runs in the background listening for coming requests. So without losing time, let's install it. pip install scrapyd, press enter. Now to launch the scrapydaemon instance, we type scrapyd, press enter. Okay, it's running and we have a server that's listening on the address 127.001 and the port 68.00. So let's open it in Chrome. 127.001 and the port 68.00. I know that it has the ugliest interface in the world, but it can get the job done. So we have this jobs link where we can see all the current running jobs. And by saying jobs, I mean current running spiders. And we have this logs link, which stores the logs of each running spider. Now, the following step is to deploy our Airbnb project locally. And for simplicity reasons, we're going to use another package called Scrapey Daemon Client, which will take care of all the steps in order to deploy our project. So I'm going to open a new tab. Now, we can install it by either running the command pip install Scrapey D client. However, this can cause some issues. So rather than sticking up with this way, let me show you how to install it correctly. So let's go to github.com and search for scrapyd-client, press enter. Let's open this one, click on clone or download and then copy the link. Now we type pip install git plus and we paste the link. And of course, make sure that you have git installed, otherwise it won't work. Now, in order to deploy our project, we type scrapyd dash deploy and then we set the target equals to default. Now, the reason why I'm typing default is because if we go ahead and open the scrapy.config file, we have this deploy wrap it between two square brackets. And in files that ends with or have the extension .cfg, everything that is written inside two square brackets is called a section. So we have the settings section and we have the deploy section. Now this deploy section in reality should be written like this, deploy colon default. This is why in the scrapy daemon deploy command, I set the target equals to default. If we had, for example, local, we type scrapy daemon deploy local like this. Next, we have to specify the target project name, so demo and the line Airbnb. But since by default there is a variable inside the scrapy.config file called project, which points to our project name, we can simply omit this argument. Now, before we hit enter, let's uncomment the URL and make sure that it points to the scrapy daemon URL. Now, let's press enter and while our project is being deployed, let me explain to you what will happen under the hood. So, scrapy daemon deploy 
will first create the project tag. After that, an HTTP POST request will be sent to an endpoint called addVersion.json. And remember when I told you that Scrapey Daemon is a service that runs in the background and listens for coming requests? Well, this is one of the requests that we send so we can deploy our project. Now we have here the response sent back by the Scrapey Daemon server as a JSON object. And all it matters is the status key. We got OK, so our project is deployed successfully. Now, more importantly, let's launch the Airbnb Spider. And for this task, we will use a tool called curl to send requests from the command line. If you don't have it, just go to curl.haxx, sorry, curl.haxx.se, press enter, click download, and then choose the one that works with your operating system. I already have it, so I'm going to open a new tab. Then I'm going to cd to the cur folder in my desktop and then to the bin folder. Now to launch this spider, we type curl http colon tab slash localhost colon 6800 slash schedule dot json. And then we type dash d project equals to demo underline airbnb dash d spider equals to airbnb dash d city equals to miami for example now let's hit enter status is set to ok so back to chrome click on jobs and as you see the airbnb spider is currently running now one last thing that i want to show you is how to stop the current running spider so for that we have to copy the job id so copy and then from the command line we type curl http tab slash localhost 6800 slash cancel dot json dash d project equal demo underline airbnb and then dash d job equals to and then we paste the job id press enter so this will send a post request to the cancel.json endpoint to stop the spider it will take some time to stop because of the auto throttle extension and that's pretty much everything i wanted to show you in this video however if you want to know more about all the available endpoints just google scrapey d Click on this documentation link and then API and here are all the available endpoints that you can play with. Now more importantly, I know that I didn't show you yet how to store the scraped items. But bear with me, I'm gonna cover that part when we deploy the spider to Heroku.